Hey guys, Taryn Hunt here with eHunter.com. Um, I've been out here glassing today. Obviously, I'm on the winter range. Um, just looking for deer. We're after the ruts and things like that. But just checking out, see what we have here in Colorado. Um, that's the great thing about Colorado. You, you can always find deer to look at. But I wanted to take a minute and talk about what I'm using today. Um, so this is the new Summit Carbon 2 tripod from Vortex Optics. If you guys listen to the podcast that I did recently with Mark Boardman of Vortex Optics, we kind of geeked out a little bit about these new tripods that they have coming out um, or have already released at this point. And um, man, they're they're amazing. And so I wanted to take a minute and tell you about this one that I've been using lately and, and using today as I've been glassing. So again, this is the Summit Carbon 2 tripod. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the things that I like about it and then not really the things that I don't like. Um, but things that I had a, a few issues with I want to give you guys an honest review on it So some of the things that I absolutely like obviously to start off with it's a carbon fiber tripod I'm videoing right now on the the pro GT vortex tripod. It's a few years old um, It's an aluminum tripod. So it's a, it's significantly heavier than this one these carbon tripods, obviously it's the way to go nowadays. Super light, super strong, um, absolutely amazing. I think this one weighs in at 2.3 pounds is all. So again, very light, very easy to use. Um, another thing that I absolutely like about this one is the legs and how they extend. So if you guys remember, like on the Pro GTs, they had the clamp style locking legs. These ones have the twist lock on them. So you twist it and it unlocks and then you twist it back and it locks up. Um, super easy to use, super quiet. Um, I love these, these rubber twists are, are big and easy to handle. Plus they're a lot warmer than those when you're trying to, to do some glassing when it's snowing outside. But love the twist lock legs that are on these new Vortex uh, tripods. Super easy to use again, super quiet and, and very sturdy, extremely strong. Once you lock them in place, you're pretty sure that they're not going to move. And so I love that. Um, something that's silly, but I love it, is this little rubber strap. Um, you know, when I go to throw this in my in my backpack, I put the legs in, tighten it up here, and then put the strap on. And I have loved that about this tripod. Because then I can just strap it in there and boom, put it in my backpack and away I go. That is one thing about this tripod. So the Summit, 2, Summit Carbon 2 tripod, this is specifically a backpacking tripod in my, in my opinion, for a couple reasons. It's, a, it's the lightest of the tripods that they have, that they come out with recently. The other reason is it doesn't extend as high. I believe it only extends to about 53 inches. So as I've been glassing here, I can't stand and glass, which I actually do a lot of that. Um, so what I've been doing is I have my little stool that I sit on and that's how I've been glassing. Um, I like that actually, it's, it's a lot more comfortable and I can actually spend a lot more time behind glass doing that, and, and I, I do, I spend a lot of time behind glass. So I love tripods um, and, and whatever you can do to make yourself mo more comfortable, whether that's standing and keeping it right where you need it, or whether it's sitting down, um, whatever's more, more comfortable for you. But So this tripod, it doesn't extend as high as I really want it to. I'd like it to be a little bit higher, but then again, it's a backpacking tripod in my opinion. And so when I'm backpacking, obviously I'm not carrying my stool with me because that's extra weight. And so I will just uh, sit down on a, a rock, sit down on, a, on the ground. And this tripod is, is absolutely perfect for that. Again, only 2.3 pounds, perfect, perfect um, backpacking tripod. Legs work great. You know, you can extend them out. They have these little clips right here. You press it down and it'll extend out further for you goes extremely far out there if you want it to. Anyways, you bring it back down in, locks back in place. Super easy to use. Your lever here is how do you open it up and extend it even further. It does have the counterbalance weight hook on the bottom. Um, I've come to use that quite a bit lately. And when I first started glassing with tripods, I never used that. Um, so what I've ended up doing is actually, I've got a sack that I use now. I fill it up with dirt and hang it off there and it makes these things just rock solid. Um, great tripod though, as far as as, as being solid, um, it's super sturdy. So I've been using um, my Vortex UHD binoculars on them. They're a little bit heavier than the, the smaller ones, um, but they've been great today. 
haven't had a problem with them. Um, very sturdy as I've been, been glassing. So again, awesome, awesome. So as far as the tripod, I think that's about it. I did want to talk a little bit about the head. So again, I've been using the Pro GT tripod. Um, I love the new head that they have on this, on these tripods. This whole system is, is a lot better. Um, and I guess the reason is, it's because it's more, uh, you can use different heads on it. Um, it's more adaptable. You can use different things on it. It's not just solely vortex and vortex. You know, you can use whatever you need to on it. Um, more universal, I guess, is the word that I would, I should be using for that. Um, but it, it works really great and it's super smooth. Again, even using my big binoculars, as I've been looking out, um, this thing is super smooth as, as I'm, as I'm panning along, you know, and you can change, you can adjust it to make it stiffer or whatever you, however you like it. I like it pretty stiff anyways. Um, but even when it's stiff, super smooth as I'm, as I'm panning across. So like that, um, I guess I didn't point it out, but this lever or this, uh, wheel right here, you loosen it up and that's how you pull the head out. It's just a clamp style system here. Um, I'm not using the vortex. Uh, binocular mount. I'm using the Outdoorsman's binocular mount. Vortex has one similar to this. This is just what I've been using for a really long time. It's what I have. And so, um, but again, that's another great thing about Vortex's new head is it's, it's universal. I can throw that on there. I don't have to have a separate plate. I don't have to have anything different on it. I can just use that and, and go with it. So um, another thing that I wanted to point out was the lever on the side, the handle, um, as you can see, quite short compared to some of the older models or other tripod models that you see. Uh, I love this for one specific reason, and that's that, because I can just, I can tighten it up here. It's not super long. Again, I can, I can throw it in my backpack. It doesn't get caught on things. So I do like that about this tripod, is that thing is pretty short. It doesn't get in the way, but yet it's still maneuverable. You can still handle it, do whatever you need to do with it. So, love this tripod um, again i consider it a backpacking tripod just because again it's really light it's compact and uh the height of it i would consider perfect for backpacking so be on the lookout we're going to do a couple more reviews of tripods and a few other things um, but uh, if you guys have any questions let me know um, if i can't answer it i'll reach out to mark and get the answers for you but love this love this tripod again this is the summit carbon 2 and uh, hope you guys enjoy.